Healthcare offers wonderful programs and they're quality programs and for the most part these are free programs. If people were able to take advantage of the education that's offered through Educare, it can help them to learn to make those lifestyle modifications that will make improvements in any type of chronic disease state. So it's important that people understand that um, we're here for them and to provide them with the, the information that they need to make those positive changes in their lives. We are seeing increases in all types of chronic disease. We have um, hypertension, which is on the rise, diabetes on the rise, and a lot of this um, can be dealt with in some form by lifestyle modifications. One of those lifestyle modifications includes the way that we eat. We need to get back to including fruits and vegetables in our meal each time we sit down to a meal and decreasing the amount of protein that we're taking in and especially watching the carbohydrate intake. While carbohydrates are good for us, they should really only take up about half of our daily intake and we tend to overdo on the carbohydrate category. So remember to include the things um, that we really do need more of, fruits and vegetables. The American Cancer Society, the American Heart Association, all are asking us to include at least six to eight servings of fruits and vegetables every day. We used to hear a lot about the food pyramid, and in order to make things a little bit easier, they've gone to what's called the My Plate, and this is actually accessible on the internet, and you can do a lot of research on what should be included in your meal, but this helps guide you visually as to what you should include per meal. You have every one of our food groups represented and the important thing is in the proper portion. Half of your plate should actually include fruits and vegetables. That's where we really are falling short in, in our country. Um, only a quarter of the plate should be our protein and our grain, our starchy type vegetable. And we have to remember that we need to include that dairy in there as well. The dairy may be in the form of milk, or that dairy could be in the form of something else such as cheese included with another portion of our plate. But it's important that we include all of those each time that we sit down to a meal. People that I work with at Educare are fabulous people. They're very committed to health of the community, and everyone goes out of their way to do everything that they can to help people that are seeking out the services here at Educare and trying to make that positive change in their life. Eating healthy does not mean that you have to give up everything that you love. We have certain things that we really enjoy eating. Some of those may be healthy, some may not. Um, it's important to include those things that are not really the healthiest in small portions and on occasion. It should not be your staple that you go to every meal. But there are wonderful selections of very good tasting, healthy foods that uh, you may discover that you actually like if you learn how to include them into your everyday meal. Educare as a whole makes me feel proud, especially to work here because of all of the things that are offered, especially for our senior community, um, people who may not have the means to um, get out and join, say, a health club. Um, they can find a wonderful opportunity to get together with people that they have a fun time exercising with for free and have a little socialization in there as well. Houston Healthcare has made a huge investment in the community, um, not only in caring for those folks when they're sick, but in really going out of the way to help to keep these people healthy. All of the programs that are provided um, basically free of charge to increase the health um, of the community, they're just outstanding and they're, they're something that I hope more people take advantage of.